Hey everybody, it's your boy LaBea Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor, if you haven't done so already, please go down below, like and subscribe to the channel. You guys know your support means everything to me. Um, today's review is not going to reinvent the wheel. However, it is going to be on a fragrance that I absolutely love. Um, it's been done before. I'm not going to even, you know, say it hasn't been. But I believe it does deserve another review for me since I've missed out on it when it first came out. Um, so, without any further ado, I'm going to be reviewing for you today, One Million Lucky by Paco Rabanne. Now, Lucky came out in 2018. The notes for the fragrance is Natalie Gracia Seto. And the notes are from the top. We have plum, ozonic notes, grapefruit, and bergamot. Mid notes are hazelnut, honey, cedar, cashmere wood, jasmine, and orange blossom. And the base notes are amber wood, patchouli, oak moss, and vetiver. Now, this is the 100 ml bottle. This retail will cost you $95. Do I say by retail? Not all the time. If, you can, if you're just balling like that and you want to buy retail, feel free. It's pretty much at every uh, department store. However, I'm pretty sure you can find this for a cheaper price than $95. I'll leave some links down below in the description uh, for FragranceNet and all that stuff. Uh, so you guys know, but uh, this is the 100 ml bottle. I haven't used a lot of the juice yet, but trust me, it, it's definitely going to get used. We go with the atomizers. Very, very nice. And the smell. It smells just like I remember. Um, off the top, that plum and those. It's like a plum that's been ditched in the Medi or ditched, <laughs> dunked in the Mediterranean Sea. It's an aquatic plum note. Um, and then the grapefruit and the bergamot are there as well. Um, this is the iteration of One Million that I love the most. Um, I did not like uh, the sweetness, the overabundance of sweetness of One Million's original. Um, I thought it was too sweet. Now, I admit, in full disclosure, I did rock the heck out of it uh, when it first came out. I took it to the club. I took it on dates. I, Yes, I absolutely, absolutely wore One Million, the original, when it first came out. But it caused such headaches for me. I mean, I almost got cavities in my teeth from it. I got migraines. Oh my goodness, it was so, so sweet. So that was the drawback for the original. Now, here's, here's what I'm going to say. You guys are going to knock me for this because I know it's kind of beloved in the community. I did not like Privé. I didn't. I have to be honest with you. I did not like Privé. It just didn't do anything for me. I had it. I wore it a few times, decided that it wasn't for me, and I sold it. Uh, so Privé for me was, was a no-go. Here comes One Million Lucky, and I'm all about it, man. This is the best one for me. It's fun. It's invigorating. Um, it, grabbed, it grabbed my attention more than the others did. Um, it's, it's, it's a woody fragrance, but it retains some of the sweetness. It's not as headache inducing sweet. It's not as cloyingly syrupy sweet as the original, which I love. It's still sweet. Don't get me wrong. You have to love your sweet fragrances to love 1 million, uh, lucky, but, um, it's not as sweet as, as the original and it didn't turn me completely off like Privé did. Um... It's fairly linear in my opinion. It does go through a little bit of a transition. I don't get the patchouli, the oak moss, or the vetiver in the in the base. I don't. To my nose, they just don't register. So my nose typically only registers the, um, the plum, the ozonic notes, the grapefruit, the bergamot, and then a few of the mint notes. The hazelnut is definitely there. The honey is kind of there. The orange blossom, not so much. But those top notes and those few middle notes are the ones that I love the most about the fragrance. So I'm actually happy that it doesn't really transition on my skin that much. Um, it's like I said, it's fairly linear on my skin. However, guys, this is a compliment magnet. You would not believe the compliments I've gotten from this fragrance. I've had people walk dead past me, do an about face, turn around, jump in front of me, and accost me almost and ask me what I was wearing. 
That's what this fragrance does. It is a compliment magnet. If you guys are just in this game for the compliments, go pick you up a couple bottles of Lucky and call it a day. You don't need many more fragrances than this to get compliments. I would say Lucky and Parfums de Marley Layton. And if you're looking for compliments, those two bottles will get you through for the next 15 years. Um, so if you're only looking for compliments, I think Lucky is a great way to go. I'm not looking for compliments so much. It just makes me feel good. It makes me feel good. It makes me happy. Um, and the performance is great too. I get eight to nine hours consistently on my skin. Now I've heard of longevity issues on some people. I'm not sure if that's, you know, just because their skin is uh, different or, or whatnot, or if they have a bad batch, but I consistently get eight to nine hours on my skin. And for the price I paid, I'm absolutely okay with that. Heck, I'd reapply this and I'd be good to go for the next eight or nine hours and I'm good to go. It lasts the full work day. It's perfect for me. Um, so the story behind this is the company says they wanted to create a fragrance without limits. You know, being a person with a disability, I have certain limitations. I can't go out there and go uh, mountain climbing. Well, I'm, I'm sure you probably could, but I don't think I want to. Um, and, and I have certain limitations of things that I can't do. But the one thing I can do is I can pull for this bottle. This bottle has no limitations. And so with the limitations that I see on a daily basis, um, I want to pull for a fragrance sometimes that has no limitations. And Lucky does that for me. The limitations I face outside my house, outside my workplace, in my office, where, where out in the world, wherever I am, are all solved by, I'm not going to say solved. It's, this is not magic elixir. It doesn't solve problems. However, it does put me in a frame of mind that everything's going to be okay, that any limitation I face isn't as bad as it could be, or isn't as bad as I think it is, or I thought it was. Lucky is definitely the way to go. Guys, let me know your experience with Lucky. If you've had it in your collection, if you currently have it in your collection, let me know your experience with it. Go down below, leave a comment. I'll always reply to you. It may take me a day or so, but I'll always reply to you. Thank you so much for your attention today. I truly do appreciate you guys. Go down below, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.